stupid, 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 stupid dummy head. All right, guys, I'm back with an update. Um, we are just about out of money, but we do have some completed uh, cultivating contracts and one or two plowing that we can turn in. Um, the AI has a really, seems to have a really hard time with this weeder uh, on this field. Um, so, you know, I thought all along it was working, but then I come to realize that it was just spinning in circles. So I'm either going to have to finish this one myself or cancel it. But yeah, as you can see, we're almost out of money. So let's quickly go here to the contracts and let's turn in this big one here. Collect. Uh, we'll turn in that one and that one and that one. And that, yeah, that took away a couple of our vehicles. But uh, that's fine because we were going to, we we're gonna lose them anyways when when the money ran out. So, and this this stupid AI person is like way off their line too. So I <laughs> I just don't think the AI does a very good job at weeding. And I'm just about ready to cancel this contract because it isn't worth it, man. Anyway, you know for the for the price and everything that you get paid for this. So all right, well let's see where we're at then. So we've got. Um, We've got these, the Vario's the one that's derping out on the weeding, uh, but we still have this one working here and this one working here. So where is I at? Oh, I's up here, okay. All right, so they're working on field nine and then we should have a couple of well, yeah, that's just, that's all we got left because by turning in those other contracts, I lost some of the equipment, but didn't have much choice because like I said, we were just about out of money. Now, um, so yeah, see, this is what they do. They get to the field and they just go around in circles and completely derp. So, you know what? Um, we're going to, we're going to just cut our losses on this. It's not worth my time to mess with it. It just honestly isn't. I mean, the weeding, you know, we're looking at, Five thousand bucks, and we already lost a lot of that, you know, by just taking their equipment. So you, so cancel, and cancel. Okay, so those are done. Um, and we got to also collect them to actually get them off of the list. That's too bad, but yeah, apparently the AI does not know how to use a weeder. Uh, I, at least I think that's what the problem is. I really, honestly, don't know. Now the other thing I've been doing while managing these workers is, is I went ahead and, and used the teleporting option. And the reason for that is because in the real world, if I had several people working for me and they needed my help, they would just call me on the cell phone. Um, but obviously we don't have cell phones in the game. And so the next most direct way for me to communicate with them is just to teleport. Um, <clears throat> because I wouldn't drive to each one of them unless... I physically needed to be there, right? And so so I'm basically calling them right on the phone and saying, all right, go ahead and start working on field 73, et cetera, et cetera. And of course they would know what to do because if they didn't, I wouldn't hire them in the first place. So anyway, um, I, I try not to use the teleporting to vehicles thing for my own movement around, but when I'm managing these workers, I just gotta do it because otherwise it just gets to be too much. Okay, so anyways, where does that leave us? Uh, let's go back to here again, and uh, so we, ha we have a couple more cultivatings completed. The thing is, is if I turn in, we're not going to, whoops, we're not going to lose this setup because this is a, this tractor we got for Bailene and I directly leased this cultivator, so we're not going to lose that, um, but I am a little concerned that if we turn in, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, if we turn in this one here, we might lose this equipment, uh, either one of these. So we should probably not turn those in until we get the rest of these cultivating contracts done. But uh, most of these are going to be smaller fields. We still have this 31 here. 
Um, that one's pretty big, but where is 31 at? Let's get rid of that. Oh, 31's over here. Yeah, that's one of the ones that we had got, we had started on. So at least it's partially done. And same thing for 20, no, 27's plowing. So that one should still be in action. Wait. All right, wait a minute. Where's our plowing guy? Do we lose our plowing guy? Oh, you know what? I'll bet he was using one of the tractors. Yep. I'll bet he was using one of the tractors. See, normally I wouldn't turn any of these in until I'm completely done, but I was running out of money is the problem. So, okay, well, I'll figure it out. Um, but I'm just going to kind of keep working with these other two workers that I have until we get the cultivating and plowing completely done. And hopefully by that time the rain will stop and then we can get started in on the bailing. And, you know, we're, we're sitting at, well, we had $18,000. So hopefully that'll be enough to keep the workers going until we can finish all of the, uh, you know, the cultivating and the plowing. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, I'm back with an update. We have finally completed all of the cultivating and plowing contracts. Uh, let's get uh, rid of this cultivator that we leased ourselves. And so where that basically leaves us is we're at 46,000 right now. However, I did get this guy. Ooh, that's loud. I got this guy started on mowing because the rain stopped at around noon in game time. Um, so, yeah, so we, we, uh, we, we had around 47,000 ish and we started, when we started this whole thing, we were at 11,000. So basically we made about a, a profit of about $36,000 and that's after paying all of the workers and, you know, the leasing costs and everything. Because uh, I ended up leasing both that cultivator and I also had to lease a plow. So that's not too bad, really. Um, you know, all things considered. Had those guys not helped me, I mean, I would I would still be <laughs> I'd still be plowing and cultivating fields. Like, I mean, it seriously sped up the process. So it's so worth, you know, whatever we ended up paying them up to this point. Let's actually look at that, too. So... Uh, so we are in October and we want to look at wage payment. Yeah. So, I mean, it costs us $13,000 to hire those guys. But again, had we not done that, I would not even be halfway done probably with all of that cultivating and plowing. Um, and we still, you know, we still put, uh, what did I say? Uh, if it was 47, 11, 30, yeah, we, we still put about $36,000 in our pocket. Um, and that's just from the cultivating and plowing. Uh, we did lose a little bit of money on the stupid weeding thing, but you know, weeding just sucks, man, in this game. They need to, they need to work on that because it's way, I think, out of balance. Uh, so anyway, uh, the other cool thing is that uh, we had a couple new contracts pop up, uh, sewing contracts, and one of them is quite lucrative. And so uh, I took those. Now we do have, uh, we have three harvestings. Two of these are sugar beets, and but one of them's soybeans. So I think what I'm going to do is get my equipment, my combine and header, and get that knocked out. It's field 34. That's not going to take too long. While we're waiting for this guy to continue um, on his baling, uh, but we also have this JCB tractor here that's sitting, not doing anything. So. Um, I need to get it going on something, too. Um, this is supposed to be one of our haying tractors. So what we could do, actually, is hook this one up and follow behind the uh, current guy and have him uh, have this one bail. But I think I want to knock that har that one harvesting contract. or no, Well, not knock it out, but get our worker started on that first. So let's go back to our place. Uh, this is, you know, this is a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it you know, using these workers and uh it's it's actually worth doing you know because i mean you have to pay them right but you get so much more done so even though i ended up paying those guys you know 13 grand or whatever i pocketed 36 grand out of the whole cultivating and plowing it's like totally worth it 
Okay, so let's just park the JCB here for the moment. And we're going to get into our combine here. And we just have a, a small uh, soybean harvest to do. All right, let's look at that again. Uh, so if we go to uh, here in soybeans. Okay, so this is on field 34, which is right, where is 34 at? uh 34 is right here okay um yeah that's just right up the street there okay so cool so what we're gonna do is let's get our header hooked up we'll have to drive the combine up there ourselves because the the ai doesn't seem to be able to drive combines with headers attached to them they probably are expecting it to be on a header trailer which we do not have at this point in time So I will drive the tractor up to field 34 and then get them started on that. It shouldn't take them long at all. Oh, you know what? The 34 is really hilly. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to have problems with this header pulling him. Oh, that could be a thing. Well, let's let's just see what happens. I mean, if they have too much trouble, I'll just have to take over and do it for them, I guess. I wonder if the AI is smart enough to do bales. Let's uh let's let's try something here. Let's just park you here for the moment. Let's go back to the JCB and head out to field 71 and get a baler hooked up. And I, I was curious to see if the AI is actually smart enough to bale. I don't know. You know, any task that's not very, very simple and basic, these the AI seems to have trouble with. But let's just try it and see what happens. I'm curious, because if they can do it, you know, then we can get him started while we're doing this other stuff. Time is money, baby. Time is money. Okay, so he's making pretty good progress on the field. Man, look at those straight windrows. I can never do that. <laughs> that's one thing I will say about the AI is they... You know how to how to make some straight rows, babe. Not me, man. <laughs> okay. So this is yeah. So we're we're actually gonna have to you yeah. This is the whole square bale setup. If this was round bales, I would use my own equipment, but it's square. But the good thing about the square bales is that we can make the the pretty good size. Ooh, I wonder if there's a limit though. On square bale uh, silage size. Wait a minute, is that a yeah? That's a square bale thingy. We might have to do this ourselves for one bale and see. Okay, yeah, we better do that because I'm not because with the round bales you can only do up to the 150. So I don't know if there's a, a limit on the squares either. So let's see. Change bale size. So 240 is the largest size. Let's just try it and see what happens. We'll just try it and see what happens here. So we'll make one 240 centimeter bale. And then we'll see if we can wrap it. If we can, we're golden. If not, then we're going to have to figure out what size can be wrapped. Oh, yeah, we don't have to stop with the square baler because it just pushes them out. Okay. Well, no. Well, okay, let's do two. I can push them out myself. I forgot about that. Should have just done one, but... All right. Hopefully this will work, and then we'll be good anyway. 
Okay, we don't want to put any more grass in here after we get to 100. There. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, so um, do do do. Fold bear the baler lift pickup. Where's the option for unload? Do we have to turn it off first? Yeah, why to unload? Okay. So these are the largest square bales. Now I want to see, like I said, if the wrapper can handle the 240 centimeter bales. I hope it can because you know the larger the bales. Is he? No, oh, he's fine. Okay, he's doing okay. Uh, one thing I've noticed about the AI too is it doesn't like to do things in circles. It does straight up and down rows. I like to do things in circles. So when I'm working a field, I I go around the perimeter and I just keep getting going around and around until it gets smaller and smaller. But the AI does not do it that way, which is interesting. Okay, let's drop this off for a second. And we want to grab you and see if you can wrap these big square bales. If you can't, then we're going to have to figure out, like I said, which size you can handle. Okay, unfold bale wrapper. Turn on automatic drop. All right, let's see what this thing can do. I've never used one of these before. I definitely want to get into the square bale business when we can afford the equipment. It's just a lot more expensive than the round bale stuff is. All right, moment of truth. Yeah, see, I was afraid of that. Okay, so these bales are too large. Doggone it. All right, well, let's leave you here then. And we'll try the next size down and see what happens. Hopefully the next size down will work. Okay, so the current bale size, the highest bale size is 240. So now let's try a 220. Okay, and there we go. All right. take this back and poop it out by the wrapper uh, yeah let's put it throw it out right there and then I'm just gonna put the baler right over here okay hopefully this will work Yep, that's it. Well, that's kind of cool how that works. Nifty. Nifty, nifty, nifty. I love it. Okay, so we should be able to put our the AI to work uh, with that sized bale. Let's get... Um, Let's get those two big bales picked up and moved out of the way first, though. And I'm just going to put the wrapper back over here. The wrapper wrapping I'm going to have to do. Uh, I'm almost positive the AI is not smart enough to do that. Connect to the harrow bed. And we'll get those two big bales and just move them out. And then we'll get our AI going and then we'll get back to the combine and get that um, one little soy contract going. Let's 
So these are just straight up grass bales. And the only place that takes grass bales is the animal dealer. I'm trying, the animal dealer is way off this way. So I'm going to go drop these off at the animal dealer. Uh, well, no, actually I'm not. I'm just going to drop them off at the end of the field for now. I'll deal with them at the end of all of this. All of these shenanigans here. I'll just put them right here. Okay, I would think the AI should be able to bail. But I guess we're going to find out. What happened to our dude? Is he stuck? I think he's stuck. Alright, we're going to have to fix him too. Got to babysit these guys, man. Totally got to babysit these guys. Okay, so 220 centimeters is the largest size that the silage bales can be. Okay, let's get around the corner on the straight, and then we're going to give this over to the AI and see what it does. interesting um, okay that's the button that assigns the AI but when I press it it's it's doing this so I'm gonna say we're gonna have to handle the bailing which does not surprise me okay well that's fine at least whoops I didn't mean to turn that off now we know and um, we can make sure it gets done right so let's turn you off for now, and let's go rescue this guy. Where is he? Yeah, you. What are you doing, man? Oh, he's not even there. I don't know why he quit. That's funny. Okay. I wonder if he got too far off the field and got confused or something. I don't know. This outer um, row I did myself. Ooh, I wonder if that's why the other guy didn't work either. I don't know. All right, let's get this guy back on track here. Nice and straight. There you go, buddy. Oh, no, I guess that's a, a Betty. <laughs> that's not Buddy, that's Betty. All right, let's get back to our combine and get this up to the field for the soybeans. Uh, what is that field again? It was... I don't remember. I have to look. Harvesting soybeans 34. Field 34. So, oh, right. That's the field that's got the... Oh, no, no, no. That's not the field with the hill. That Okay, we should be good. We should be good. We just need to go down the street. Yeah, okay. I don't know what's going on now. Now, they shouldn't have any problem at all with that fuel. Yeah, this is a pretty small field and it's it's pretty level. I think we'll be fine. And most likely this our combine will be able to hold the whole entire crop too cuz Again, it's not that big a field. Okay, here we go. Have at it. Okay, so they're taking care of that. We've got... Yeah, I, I guess I, I should get started bailing. Um, you doing okay? For the moment, he is. Or she is. Okay, what else do we got going on here? It's interesting to, you know, just to decide what 
is the next thing that should happen? Uh, this is on field 39. Where is 39? 39 is going to be right here. Okay. So we could do the sewing contract or we could do the bailing. You know, why don't we do the bailing because you doing okay? You're at oh, you know what? It's 10% full. Hmm. Well, I can only assume the AI will stop once they get full. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will. This, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40. You know what? I don't know if they'll be able to get this whole field in the thing, but if not, then we'll have to come and drive the combine over to the mill and drop it off because my trailer's full, so I haven't, I don't have anything else to dump it in. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't think they're going to get that entire field in there, so... Uh, all right, what we were doing, we were going to do this. Yeah, let's. We, we got started on the bailing, so let's just keep going with that and uh, go from there. Okay, so we got a plan. We're going to stick to it. Let's rock. One thing I like about square balers is we don't have to stop like we do with the, the round ones. So you have to wait for the hatch to open and eject the bale and then close again before the pickup will work again. This one just keeps on trucking, man, and just pushes the bales right out the back. Oh, you know what? I don't want to drop bales on the other side of what he's doing because it might mess him up. And it looks like he might already be messed up again. He's, like, getting hung up in the trees or something. Okay, well, let's, um... Let's go ahead and work our way down towards him and get him started again. He's done pretty good so far. It's just... I don't know, for whatever reason, he's having some problems now. I don't know if there are if there's a square baler that also wraps like a round baler does. So that's one advantage to doing the round balers if you have a wrapper on the baler. Yeah, why is he stopped? There's nothing blocking him. I don't know. I don't get it. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this time. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's flip around and I, I want to stay closer to Dingus there. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't screw up again. So we'll kind of work this side for now. Another nice thing about the square bells is they don't roll roll down the field into the bushes like when we're on those hilly fields. I'm going to have to get me the Pottinger set up there. It's pretty nice. I can't afford the, the big swather yet, but someday we will. Okay, let's finish the perimeter windrow here. Some of this I might not be able to pick up because it's right on the very border, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so... Last time, um, I actually brought the windrower out here and pulled it into the field, but if we can get the majority of it, I don't think I'll worry about that too much. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit that's being left behind, so yeah, we probably better do that. That's a lot of, a lot of bail action there. I won't do it, though, until after I pick up the bales that are in the way, because last time <clears throat> I tried to maneuver around the bales, and it didn't work so well. That was all in that big old montage video that I did, by the way, for, in case you didn't see it.
Yeah, we're leaving a lot of hay behind. We're definitely going to have to pull that in with the windrower. It's a lot of money, man. Okay, well, it looks like our... Whoops. Our mower is doing okay. So let's just go back to this end of the field and keep going. Uh, we should probably check though on our, our soybean harvester and see how they're doing. Okay, let's take a peek and see what they're up to. You're good. You are 76% full, but you're doing well. You're not having any trouble so far. Well, you did miss that little spot, couple spots there, but we'll, we'll actually, well, are they going to clean it up? No. We'll clean that up ourselves only because, you know, we get that little extra bonus at the end, so we want to make sure we get every last bit. Okay, but they're doing pretty good overall. Not too bad. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here and uh, keep on keeping on. I'll bring you guys back with an update at some point in the near future, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. I am back with another update. Uh, I started another worker on the uh, sowing, uh, one of the sowing fields, and uh, they have about 6% seed left. So that should be enough to finish that last little stretch, assuming they are going to finish the last little stretch. Um, yeah, looks like they're still working. Okay, so we'll let them finish up, and then, then we have two more sowing uh, contracts that need to be done, but those two will require barley, so we'll have to buy some more seed for that. Uh, looks like they're just getting lined up to finish out that last little spot there. Cool. All right, this uh, worker is working on another, <clears throat> excuse me, cultivating contract that came uh, available. Uh, it is actually the next day in real life for me, uh, so when I got home from the office, I logged into the game, and there was another cultivating contract uh, that came available. So now uh, this is the same field that we did the soybeans on the day before. So I have another worker working on that. And then I have a worker assigned to um, tedding and they seem to be doing a pretty good job. I, I went around and did all the, the border first and I'm letting them do this and I might let them uh, try and do the, the windrowing too on the fields that need it. And then, of course, oh, did you, why did you stop? Maybe because the field's done. Interesting. Okay. Well, here, I might as well finish this little last little bit out, and then we'll get this worker back to the, to the store, because we're going we're gonna to have to buy some more seed for them to do the other two contracts. Okay, so we'll fold this up. Um, well, we don't really actually need to hop out of here. We'll go into the workers menu and we want you to do a go to and back to the store so we can get more seed for you. So what, let's have you park. Oh, right about here should be good. Uh, go to here and face that direction. And you should be... How come you're not leaving? There you go. <laughs> okay. So you're still working on the cultivating and you... This is me, so I'm working on the baling. And you are almost done with the teddy. Okay, cool. So when this one gets back to the shop, we'll buy some more seed and then uh, send him out to the next place. Hopefully, he, she, he, she, yeah, she doesn't culti <laughs> cultivate this cotton field. <laughs> and uh, we will get back to bailing here. All right, so yeah, just a quick update there. Wanted to show you what's going on. And uh, again, I'll bring you back with another update here in a little while. All right, guys, I'm back for an update of uh, the bailing is finally done oh my goodness and i mean literally the bailing not, not the wrapping and the picking up and all that kind of stuff so yeah let's see here um 
we have all of the hay fields up here are baled and some of these are hay and some of these are silage <clears throat> and they're sitting up there waiting to be picked up um all contracts except for the two sugar beets and the two fertilizing then those two i'll be able to knock out very quickly uh are done the sewing contract is done the big one but i have the equipment over at my place because we are gonna for role playing purposes and for realistic purposes uh you know we're gonna wash all of this equipment and then the tractors we're gonna take over the gas station and refill before we turn everything in if i turn the the um uh, contracts in right now then all the stuff goes away and i <clears throat> i don't i don't get to do that so i'm just doing that just you know just for fun just for role playing purposes etc etc so anyway that's where we are um so next thing i got to do now is i got to wrap all these bales and then i have to pick them up with the bale trailer there i'm also like i did last time once i get the bales out of the way I'm going to run the windrower along this outside edge and pull all of that grass in because it's too far out for me to reach right now with the baler. You know, because there's probably a good two to four more bales sitting out there. Um, so definitely worth doing. But I want to get these other bales out of the way first before we do that. Um, and then I've got to jump into my um, round baler pickup trailer to go get all the bales up north and get those turned in. Once all that's done, you know, then all that remains is just those two uh, sugar beet contracts and, no, no, actually I don't want that yet, and the two fert, fert contracts, which I will do the fertilizer ones at the very, very end because that's just going to go super quick. Um, I could even, I could even maybe put the AI on that, but I don't know if they would waste the fertilizer or not, but it's, you know, it's going to be so fast for me to do that that... I'm just going to do it myself because then I don't have to pay the AI to do it. Uh, but any hoozle, that's where we are. Uh, man, this has been a heck of a lot of work, but you know, we're going to bring in some bank when this is all said and done. I mean, we got 46000 right now, but that's, you know, uh, we're going to bring in a lot more money when this is... Uh, is that going? No, <laughs> it's folding up. Okay, hold on a sec. Why aren't you doing your thing here? I need to get... There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get all of these bales wrapped and then, you know, pick up the ones along the perimeter so I can get the wind rowing done. And at some point, I'll bring you guys back with another update and we'll go from there. So this is taking a long time, but like I said, we're going we're gonna to come out with some pretty decent money when it's all said and done. Um, why aren't you dropping I guess I have to have Z on. Okay. So, yeah. Um, let's pick up some bales. The, the other thing, too, is um, there's no, there's no work left that the AI can do. I have to do the rest of it because they can't bale. They can't wrap. They can't pick up in the trailer. I've, I've tried to get them to do all of those things, and they, they just can't do it. So, yeah, the rest of this is up to me, and uh, so we'll go from there. So, yeah, I'll bring you guys back with an update in just a little while. All right, guys, uh, I am now in bale pickup mode. I've got uh, all of the silage bales wrapped on field 71, which is the ginormous field. Uh, we're back up on the north fields. Uh, field 16 and 18 were both hay fields as opposed to silage, and they are the only two out of the bunch that go to Johnson's uh, Farmer's Market. So we're doing those first, and we're going to take all that hay to Johnson's. And then everything else on the rest of these fields, um, including... Field 71 goes to the animal dealer. And at that point, it kind of doesn't really matter. Whoops, I almost missed that one. At that point, it kind of doesn't really matter which order we pick stuff up in because it'll all ultimately, ultimately work out in the wash. But because these two particular fields are going to Johnson's, I wanted to do them separately just so there isn't anything weird, unexpected happening. Okay, so we are... Uh, good to go for the two going to Johnson's. So let's head on over there, drop those off, and we'll see uh, what we get out of that. And then we'll come back and get the rest of these for Animal Dealer. And then we have all of Field 71 that we have to pick up with the square um, harrow bed. 
another fertilizer contract became available too, so I took that and we'll do that at the very end. All right, so that takes care of 16 and 18. And we also made 3,000 bucks off of the extra bales. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, let's go pick up the uh, the rest of the bales on the north hay fields and bring those back here to Animal Dealer. Okay, that takes care of 13 and 14. And then the game's applying the other 11% of that towards field 71, which is fine. All right, now let's go get the rest of the hay from the north field, and then we'll be done with the north field. All right, so this will be for the final uh, north hay fields, and then just 71 is all that's left for the hay. We're getting close, guys. Okay, we made another 1832 bucks of cash off of that. Okay, now we need to take uh, our, this is our hay trailer, so take it back home and then go back out to field 71. Jump in the big harrow bed and get the big square bales picked up. So, I think we'll do that and then I, I gotta go to bed in real life, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> had a long day at the office today. Uh, but I want to get that done. And then tomorrow, in real time for me, but for you guys just towards the end of this episode, um, we'll just do the sugar beet harvest and I'll knock out those, well, now three fertilizer contracts really quick. Um, so I will see you guys over at Field 71. All right, guys, we are at 71, and let's get these big old white silage bales picked up. It's probably going to take us a couple of loads to get everything on this field, I'm thinking. I just called uh, one of my workers in on my tractor with the forks at the far end of the field there. I want to see if I can pick both of those big grass bales up and uh, just, you know, run those over to the... To the animal dealer directly. If not, then I'm probably going to have to put them on a trailer or something. And we also have two more implements here, uh, the windrower and the baler that we got to get back to our base too, which I might, or our base, our farm, uh, that I might use the AI for too, just save me a couple trips. Well, those little delivery go-to missions don't really cost that much money to have them do that so this is the field that should uh, net us some pretty decent cash all right let's see if he can our little feller here can do this I do have the weight on the back What I want to try and do is make sure these are as wide as they'll go. And see if we can spear them. If not, then I'll stack one on top of the other. Okay, let's just see what happens. <laughs> it's uh definitely <laughs> definitely on the front wheels but it looks like we it'll probably work as long as we keep everything nice and low um who's given the best pr oh actually i think the animal dealer is the only one that gives prices for um for grass bales i don't think you can sell it to anybody else um i just I wonder if I should trust the AI to get these down there. If we, uh, uh, I guess it's not, 
guess it's not too bad. Um, as long as he doesn't run into anything or any cars. Let's create a job, go to, and just park right here. Unless, yeah, no, it doesn't give me the option to have him. Uh, with grain and stuff, you can have the AI actually deliver it and drop it off, but this is... Oh! <laughs> Look at the tractor's back, back end go up. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, we might... S you know what? We should probably stay with the AI until it gets there. Um, and then I'll... I'll probably just drive it back. I, I, I better watch these guys get... Or watch this. Well, is that a, a gal? Yeah, watch this gal. So she doesn't derp out because it's just a little, little bit of iffy here. Oh, slow down, lady. Good Lord Almighty. <laughs> you can't even turn. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't go that way. All right. Yeah, it's, it's time for me to take back over. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Okay, yeah, we better just run these there ourselves. This is just extra gravy, gravy bales for us anyway. Not that we're going to get a ton of money from them, but we'll sell them anyways, because why not? If it was hay, I'd actually probably hang on to it. Because, um, you know, we're eventually going to need hay, but that's still a little ways out, I think, for us. Yeah, 587 bucks. It's not a lot of money for two ginormous bales, but they're just grass bales, so what can you do? All right, let's get back to that field and get the rest of that hay picked up. Can you believe that? Pulled right out in front of me. You son of a biscuit. If that had been a real-life situation, those sparks would have just skewered that car and everyone in it, but fortunately this isn't real life. When I'm getting those big paydays, it would be nice if it was, huh? <laughs> Stupid, 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 stupid dummy head. Okay, so we uh, finished the contract and got 800 no nine almost a thousand bucks from the selling that but we still have like two more full loads and all of that is ours you guys <laughs> we're gonna make some money here uh what am i doing okay let's close this up all right let's go get him okay so we can hold 14 bales on this wagon we have Two, four, six, eight, ten. Looks like there's ten more to go in addition to this load here. Okay. So 24 more bales to go in total. And all of it's ours. Let's go see how much money we make. Alright, so how much are we going to get for a full load of bales here? Thirteen thousand bucks. Okay, ten more to go. Well, 
Another 10,000 bucks. All right, so that gets us up to 77,000. And, um, you know, that's just with what we sold in the bales. We still have to turn the actual contracts themselves in. Uh, but here again, I don't want to do that yet because I need to clean up everybody's gear and refuel the tractors. And, of course, we still do have the sugar beet harvest uh, on two fields and we have three furts but the furt contracts I, I will just use my stuff for because I have all the equipment for that of course but well that's going to have to happen tomorrow because I am really tired excuse me guys Ugh, I'm really tired in real life uh, so I'm going to wrap it up and then uh, finish the rest of October 1st in game day you stupid car these cars are so dumb they don't stop unless you're right in front of them. If they see you coming, they don't care. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, so we'll finish this up. Can I get through here? Yeah. In, uh, for well, for me tomorrow, for you guys, probably at the end of this episode. I, again, I mean, this has taken so long. We're like, this is going to be episode three from the time that I actually started, or two. I don't know. I don't. We'll see, but we'll figure it out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that is it for now, so I will uh, see you guys tomorrow.